Hello and welcome back to another session within the mortgage servicing. So this session will discuss about what is exactly the mortgage servicing as a process. Okay, uh, once the loan has been closed by the loan originator with the help of the closing agents, uh, the loan has to be you know, set up by the servicer in its system. So the loan setup includes uh, creating a loan ID with all the specific details regarding the borrower, collateral, originator added to the servicer database. The loan setup also includes taking a note of all the financial details, for example, like you know the interest rate, payment period, cash inflow, amortization schedule, etc. regarding the loan. So the loan servicing process starts after the loan has been set up uh, in the servicer's system. All right. So as you look at this diagram, so uh, you know the servicing can be broken down into following sub processes like you know the cash management, investor accounting and reporting, document custodianship, escrow account administration, delinquency management, and customer service. So let's learn about each one of these processes uh, in details. First, let's learn about the cash management. So cash management basically. It, uh, consist of uh, collecting the borrower's mortgage payments and uh, depositing those funds into various custodial accounts. The mortgage payment consists of like, you know, the principal, principal of the loan, interest, taxes, and insurance, which is also called as PITI. So basically the principal and the interest portion of each payment is separated from the insurance and taxes. So the principal and the interest has to be remitted to the investors and the insurance and the taxes had to be paid out respective third parties through the escrow accounts. The payments from the thousands of borrowers come in a different times so with the different PITI structures. So these payments are used to pay the investors and other parties on the free point regular intervals uh, for for example like taxes may be paid uh, annually. The insurance premiums may be need to be paid on a monthly basis. Uh, extra, for example, so the servicer keeps a predetermined percentage added to the servicing fee. So because uh, that's his bread and butter, right? So as due to such mismatches in the timing of the cash inflows and the outflows, uh, these custodial accounts require daily balancing and monthly reconciliation. So in addition to this, uh, prudent uh, procedural uh, control over disbursement, segregation of the administrative duties, and the deposit of the funds into appropriate financial institutions has to be managed. Thus, cash management involves managing daily investments, processing of electronic funds transfers, management of servicer investor relationship, and identification and reconciliation of account activity. All right, so next thing is the investor accounting and reporting. So investor accounting and reporting consist of forming uh, uh, the various uh, record keeping and uh, customer communication functions on behalf of the investors. So these responsibilities involve preparing monthly reports on the principal and interest collections, delinquency rates, foreclosure actions, property inspections, charge offs, and OREO, which is for the other loan portfolio. I will explain about what war you were in the next uh, uh, topic. So servicer also report information to consumer credit bureaus uh, on the past due status of the homeowner's loan. Servicing adjustable rate mortgage loans requires ensuring that the interest rate adjustments are properly performed and documented and that customers are notified in accordance with the investor guidelines. So to summarize, the main responsibility of the servicer under the investor accounting reporting includes like you know the performing the quality assurance as for the investor specifications uh, verifying the bond model calculations coordinating with the various third parties like the delinquency management agencies insurance companies state tax departments and the trustees maintaining proper documentation of all the transactions providing information such as a loan pool summary uh, loan level information delinquency information etc Collection of balances or the charging of uncollectable, uh, you know, the balances in a timely manner. Uh, the next one is document custodianship. So under the document custodianship, uh, that servicer is responsible for ensuring that all the important collateral documents are uh, obtained and uh, released for the loan servicer portfolio. So these documents includes uh, all the reports and the documents collected uh, during the loan origination. 
A servicer may perform document custodianship functions on its own or may outsource it to a third party agency. All right, escrow account administration. Uh, I'm talking about this one, escrow account administration. Okay. So an escrow account is a special type of account uh, through which the payments can be made only to certain deposited or designated parties. In this case, the parties are the state collection agencies and the home insurers. The tax uh, and the insurance, insurance portion of the PITI payment is collected in this account and paid out to various third parties. So the escrow account administration unit uh, sets up the account, credits the account for the tax and insurance funds received as part of the borrower's monthly mortgage payment, makes timely payments of the borrower's obligations, uh, analyzes the account balance in relation to anticipated payments uh, annually, and uh, reports the account balance to the borrower annually. If a borrower's escrow account has surplus or its shortage, the unit makes a lump sum reimbursement or a charge to the borrower or adults, uh, uh, adjusts, uh, uh, adjusts the amount of uh, the homeowner's monthly mortgage payment uh, accordingly. So if there is a, a change in the servicer by sale of servicing rights, it is the old servicer's responsibility to inform the insurance company and the tax authority of the change in the servicer. A follow-up call from a borrower to the insurance company or tax authority can help to ensure that the tax or the insurance bill is not sent to the wrong servicer. If the escrow account is interest bearing, all the interest due should be credited to the borrower's account by the old servicer before this transfer takes place. After servicing is transferred, uh, the new servicer analyzes the escrow account again. During this analysis, uh, the servicer reviews the escrow account and determines uh, if it is adequate to cover the fees for the insurance, taxes, and any other premiums paid through the escrow. If the amount is found to be insufficient, uh, the servicer may ask the borrower to increase the regular monthly payments. So the escrow account administration responsibilities of the servicer uh, as a bullet points. So collecting and holding the borrower funds in the escrow to pay the real estate taxes, hazard insurance premiums and the property assessments. And uh, second job of the servicer is setting up and uh, continuous review of the escrow account, uh, making timely payments to the third parties for the taxes and the insurance. Analyzing the taxes and the insurance portion of the borrower's account uh, balance and uh, compare it with the anticipated payments annually and reporting the account balance uh, to the borrower annually. All right, what is delinquency management? If the borrower does not pay the promised monthly payments, uh, reminders are sent, reminders are sent uh, for a certain period of time after which the borrower is declared to be delinquent uh, as he has defaulted on the loan. Then the servicer performs the delinquency management activities to take possession of the home and sell it to recover the outstanding loan amount. Delinquency management thus refers to default management, which uh, includes tracking and uh, reporting the status of the loans that are in various stages of the default. The activities which are involved in the delinquency management are account review of the delinquent borrower, delinquent borrower, delinquency management reporting to the investors, foreclosure of the loan which involves actions to eliminate the interest of the borrower in the real estate so as to give lender the title, uh, OREO and REO marketing. This consists of managing and disclosing the foreclosure properties being involved in repairs and the inspection. Consult with the services, services on the miscellaneous issues like the taxes, delinquency activities, hazard insurance settlement, etc. In some cases, a servicer may enter into a short-term forbearance arrangement with the delinquent borrower before beginning a foreclosure actions. So, to just to quote an example, uh, a servicer may permit the borrower to defer the payments, follow an alternative repayment plan, execute a deed in lieu of the foreclosure. A servicer advances the funds and incurs cost on behalf of the investors during the collection process and during the time foreclosed properties are administered as other real estate owned. An account receivable is normally established to account for these investor advances. So the investor subsequently reimburses the servicer for much of the funds advanced and the cost incurred. Real estate owned and other real estate owned, REO and OREO. It's basically the administration uh, which consists of uh, managing and uh, disposing of the foreclosed properties. 
Some mortgage servicing agreements require the servicer to take legal title to ORIO, means other real estate owned. In these cases, uh, uh, the investor transfers property title to the servicer following the foreclosure action. If the bank has or will obtain the legal title to the property, management must follow the terms and conditions under which a national bank may hold real estate and other real estate owned as specified in 12 USC 29 and 12 CFR 34. These are the regulations set by the federal government. When the bank bears primary loss exposure for a service loan, uh, the management must follow the instructions for the preparation of the report of condition regarding the loan loss recognition and ORIO reporting. Servicing agreements may also include provisions including the ORIO that merely require the servicer to perform administrative duties as an agent of the investor. For example, the servicer may be required to secure the uh, secure and protect the property, conduct irrespective on a uh, regular basis, obtain the current appraisal and market the property. Customer service. The loan servicer provides various reporting and information services to the investors. Generally, the loan servicer has a toll-free number that borrowers may call in for information on such items such as loan balances, interest paid, amortization schedule, escrow balances, etc. Customer service is uh, one of is also responsible for uh, following activities like you know create and maintain a positive relationship with the borrowers with the regular communications on the interest rate changes, loan balances, payments, etc. So the customer communication is especially important before and after sale of the loan servicing portfolio or during the periods of high business activity. That's all about uh, what is uh, loan servicing as a process. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this session. I will see you in the next topic. Thank you.